right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. He starts to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy. You ready? You ready? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Too. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Huge block there. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful legs. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Barely missed on an uppercut right here in the inside. Put the fist out there. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh! Boat kick. Checks the leg kick. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Not there. The right hand just misses. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Kicks to the body. You have to do more than that if you want to keep it up. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And both guys really throwing with authority. over when he throws that kick. Just out of the range with that right hand. Able to check that kick as well. And just misses with that big right hand. Ooh, what a punch. finish under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one
and straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. You got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Final seconds. And he landed the right hand there. Round two is next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, like these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Set it off. That was a thudding leg kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Straight punch lands. Head kick lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Try to establish that jab. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Straight right hand now, just misses. Good defense to block the strike coming back. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Great punch. Nice body kick. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Right hand landed. They continue to exchange. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. It's broken, I think. Broken, I think. Oh, I think his shot's nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, blocks the shot. What a punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off right there. Good punch. Well, missed on that one. Bring it down, bring it down. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh. 
Nice kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, and he connects there. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Right hand on point. Punch coming, it's blocked. Lands with the right hand. Final seconds here of round number two. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Ten minutes in the bush. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a fire fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Real quick leg kick. Nice stupid punch. Big head kick. Visibly limping here. the left now just over three minutes to go in round three clean left punch followed by the right oh nice just a slip there to the left hand now, unable to connect. That's a big strike right there. And he is bleeding over the left eye now. Hope it doesn't affect his vision. Hey, hands up. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Attempt, it's blocked. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Unable to connect there. And that one certainly found the target. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh. 
Serve him up. Go get him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. one-legged fighter and then it became just a matter of time so somewhat anticlimactic here tonight but not for the winner as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career